the human shape and the cityscape. Cinema has always entangled those two concepts, engaging with architecture as a means to contemplate the present and ruminate about possible futures. Yet very few modes of filmmaking have architecture at their center as the art of animation has. Live action filmmakers are bound by financial limitations and the rules of physics, while for the longest time animation was bringing fantastic and impossible worlds to life. While these worlds are free of logistical constraints, they're still bound by real-world preoccupations. How will technology change our landscape? How does tradition fuse with modernity? What is the future of the large city? In the subculture of anime, film and architecture often intersect with technology to question our role in an ever-growing and changing society. For example, the transparency of class structures should connect us to the outside world, but in Paprika, it only provides a window into our own loneliness and isolation. Films like Ghost in the Shell, as Danny Cavallaro puts it, they attempt to document the hybrid character of the contemporary Japanese megalopolis. By extension, they contemplate metaphorically Japanese culture at large. The old and the new, the indigenous and the global, the shiny spectacle of glass and chrome, and the murky underbelly of trash-infested slums. Even before anime, architecture in film had been a mirror to the anxieties of its time. Fritz Lang's Metropolis provided a subtle critique of the utopian thrust of futurism. More recently, Rintaro's Metropolis embodied a pervasive mood of oppressiveness and uncertainty with its menacing skyscrapers. These buildings echo technology's promises of swift solutions to complex problems. Technology should fix our psyche. Technology should connect us all. Technology should take care of our elders. Yet in summer wars, Paprika and Rouge in Z, technological advancement disregards tradition and moves too fast. It prods on the fears that our interaction with automation and robotics will compromise our humanity. The consequence is an architectonic clash between modern and traditional. The conflict leaves us with a question. Where do we fit in its midst?